Welcome back! This game in particular, it has quite a lot of value, right? You want to make sure you keep the ET off you, you keep the bat rider off you. They're just going to be yeah. swarming in in the fight, trying to collapse on the cause. So, cover. For now, I'm just, uh, you know, prioritizing the rest. Okay, the glimpse. Okay, with the setup. Dumped down on the Zibay, but, oh, a little bit off the mark. It's not going to matter. First blood drawn by Zibay. Nice little combination play up here. Even with a wave under his power. Oh, no. Oh, just another game. Yeah, Zibay. For another song, finds it onto both Yuko. Diving in, Hanskin from Twin Gate. There's a TPM from Yokum. The flame break's not enough. Ponyo will turn around with the Stomp, but one last hit. He's able to fog them thanks to the nighttime vision. As Pablo still surviving thanks to the fairy fire and the Lotus turning around onto Yokum. He's trying his best to juke on that little dinosaur. Turn around with the Stomp. Still has the stick, and now Zibay has to be careful. Hanskin with the attack slow will work down that Elder Titan. Oh, Roshan wants trying his party. best to dodge. No. Kills off Zibay. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's the best situation. You could ask for an absolute luck bath in the top side, but clearly that goes the way of rest farmers. Oh, wow, he just very easily has a stampede to get out with anywhere any way of stopping him other than the Mars. Oh, they're gonna get a Setting glimpse. up on WS, glimpse back on the Mars with the stop back. Zibe finds another bit of impact. Shad will be the one to grab that kill. Yeah, the three versus three to try on try action. Yeah. Ember's definitely scarier. Oh no, they call oh, him Static Storm! Just with a little bit of a root, and he's gonna burn to a crisp. They commit all the ultimates for it as well. Do you have a glimpse? Not the vision. You can't afford to lose your Luna here. Hanskin gonna give him that vision. You just need to find the Luna, but they aren't able to connect. Might have to settle for Yokum instead. They've actually committed the egg to avoid that lasso. Comes the a little bit awkward. Here comes the Mars. Oh, nice the silence. Reveal silence out onto the Pango though. Chuan pulled back in and the Pango can't even roll. WS, he's in his arena all alone because V-Tune and the gang, they just can't contribute. Zibi's just chasing them away. Looks like another kill on the ET now. Zantic, one or two more slides, they'll find him and chop him down. Again, another situation where Talon... With their ultimates and with their dagger, blade, mirror, center. I think it's just difficult, you know, have to try to... Try to wait for the next timing, they're gonna get a spear back. And yeah, this is the support nice catch you want. A nice stomp interrupts that dive and WS able to clean up on that kill. Now, in a bit of trouble with this, because it's ending and Zibay just coming in. Woo, that Mars just disappeared. Didn't really look like much of a beef cake now as Tron is just forced to turn tail and run. It was still, still a fine trip. At some point, probably the supports are gonna have to just uh, you know, push out lanes and dive away. Yeah. Now WS caught out though, shared on the way oh, as well. The nice little lasso, they found the Sven shared. Man just bought the BKB. The chain stun wasn't enough. Here comes the rolling thunder, Chuan. He's able to play the fight for the first time this game, but... There isn't really anything to be found. You're staring down the magic immune span. And you glimpse. just have to try and run the glimpse out of the Luna. And poor little V Tune just gonna get ripped apart. Pablo dominating this fight and dominating the game, really. Again, they're not done. Sibe blinking in for another. You trying to stack little Bat Rider? That's gonna be a mistake. 16 to 2 now with 11k gold lead. Any clue what the win probability is for Talon at the moment? Just thought. 10%. I might have to hold that thought because uh, actually pretty good fight but doesn't matter because Pablo just has lotuses and healing. Okay, I mean WS just gets found by himself. Good try on the turnaround but... So we get the the kinetic side, field, vision. Keep our eyes Luna. on this disruptor in the top side. I'm really the connection. They're still trying to stop down the b -tune, dropping low on this Luna and just gets melted. It's just the two supports and the off lane. You know, they try and TP out. The glimpse doesn't manage to finish off. I guess it was... Must have been a roll-up or something. It's gonna come through. They're looking for v -tune. Oh my goodness, not again, v -tune. You can't afford to be going down like this. I, I, this... I mean, we talk about standing in. This guy is uh, sitting down right now. Alright, right now they just need to just uh, slowly control the map until they find people. Yeah, they're not even in a rush to push high ground. WS gonna force out the BKB charge on Shed. That's a small victory. You need to take those and now you might get a Phoenix as well. Hanskin goes down. Small little pickups here mean the world for Talon. It doesn't feel like a lot, but every little bit they can find. Turn around now into WS, but Zibe. Not sure what this is about. It's Xantic still trying to poke away, forcing the BKB out from the Mars now. But the Rolling Thunder looks like Chuan in some trouble. Pull back in, roll up. Very nicely done. Let's got his way out of trouble. Facing down on this Ember though, V-Tune looking for an entry to the but might just find the spin! In comes the chop, there goes the Mars! Talon, oh my goodness, their heroes don't even look like real heroes. They just look like pieces of meat at the butcher shop! 
Shared with a double kill, V Tune just had to run. Palmer's are feeling comfortable to keep putting on this pressure. Could be a mistake here, but jump straight in onto V Tune. Forced to pop the BKB and the chase is commencing. WS with a nice spear back. Sibay in the area as well, looking for a stomp and all oh, silent start. Tron. It shows you have face in the wrong neighborhood, my friend. WS has to try and TP in front of him. He doesn't even have the HP. They're all dead. How dare you try and TP in front of Shad? I mean, this guy's trucking for good to 800, 900 damage per hit. That's not even a crit I'm talking about. It doesn't matter that Chuan's our ex-teammate. We'll screw him over anyway. It's yeah, a yeah. real tough game. We are in him. our territory. This is our yeah. farm, you know? We Correct. Have to go the boss. Yeah, you gotta oh, bring no. the pitch box out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A bit uh, too... <laughs> Happy go lucky <laughs> on the countryside, maybe, and uh, now suddenly this game end doesn't really seem quite as feasible. Oh wow, right? Maybe the four fifty. Yeah, imagine if you play like three, four long games. You know, it's gonna take a toll. This feels like the last hurrah here, yeah, jumping forward though, less of a hurrah and more of a win for a share. Just fine to come in the start. Now Tron in trouble as well. Stomp dark and in comes Superman. There goes Tron. No more hope for Tangle to rejoin the fight. Taking two seconds. You gotta imagine for now. This is definitely it. WS trying to BKB TP out V Tune. <laughs> I'm trying, Winter, I'm trying, man. Okay, oh, Pablo. Right, yeah, touch on Pablo. Kind of far away and eats a full eclipse, feeling the full hate of V-Tune there. And that's a five times kill streak, but it goes over to Yoko. And the Spanish is being very, very careful there. He's making sure he, he's not going to be the first one that gets jumped. So he's yeah. yeah, allowing the Amber to finish things. Go. Man, he's going to one-shot them, right? One, two, oh, okay. Okay. Now one shot, three, three shot. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even have the god strength there. As soon as he pops in the past, shield just pops right off and gets nice cool. So I'm going to dive out to WS, so Yoakam had to be KB and look at Uh, I... <laughs> oh, okay, well, you, you were trying to get the control. That was cute. That's just not really what you wanted. And Zantic, he's still in here. 1v3, dancing on them. You talked about showboating. This guy is feeling himself right now. Just 3v1ing right in front of the enemy fountain. Can't wait for him to get the camera. Oh, bro, we'll just jump in. Show off some illusions, get lassoed up. This is an opportunity, but in comes the static storm, stopping any sort of attempt. And Yoakam's just gonna go down. It was a good try from Talon, but the follow up wasn't fast enough. It seemed like Rest Farmers, they were ready for that. Shad will now make his way towards his last remaining tier 3. Start punching away. Satanic still available. The DKB in the pocket and the second life. They buy back on Yoakam. This is the final hurrah for real this time, but no lasso. Oh, the Bruna just getting crushed! The carries and he just dead. dies! Where is the support? Where is the backup? Nowhere to be found. Talon, they are just crumbling here. You don't have buyback on your Luna. WS will just go down and GG is called as Rest Farmers completely outclass their opponents in this game number one. Yeah, very, very unfortunate. Just uh, having trouble uh, syncing up with uh, B2 in the league. Talon versus Rest Farmers, they just get absolutely shared on. I mean, they didn't even stand a chance. That Sven ends the game 15 0 and 4, by the way. Yeah, that's actually a good point. That's a very yeah. annoying annoying thing. Yeah. If you don't if you don't get the counter spell off. Oh dude, five stacks of sticky napalm on handskin. He's not getting his way out of this one, but Pablo, he's joined up in the fray, looking for a blast off, lands it onto the AM and WS will go down. Yokum tried really hard to finish off Hanskin, but oh, a power shot from off screen at Xantic with the assist. You can see Ponyo good discipline there, holding on to that frostbite, but he is pretty quick with that base move. We're trying to escape. Isn't any really where to run here, unless he pulls off some sort of miracle. None to be found. Tron will get that kill. It's quite a bit of space. Top side though, Shad goes down again. There's just no one here to help. Anti Mage able to blink away from Atlantic. Going. Oh, quite a lot of damage on Tony though. Uh oh. Just run down to Shed. This isn't a tower you can defend, my friend. He just gets ripped apart. In comes the Ravage, but it's onto a full HP DP. They're trying to run down Yoakum now. One more power shot to finish him off. He's on the high ground though, but still gets sniped down. It's not before they lose more heroes, and the tide will go down as well. It's a triple kill for the offlane anti mage. And if he didn't have his defusal before, he'll damn have it now. Kind of inching his way towards this Maelstrom, but I feel like we've been talking about that for a while now. Wind run away. But there's Lasso, you're TPing in now on the rest of Rest Farmers, but even with a Ravage, it doesn't really feel very feasible. Oh shit. Oh my goodness, not like this. He can't even pop his eye. Flip around situation. Xantic just getting run down. Can't even win run, just gets ripped apart. Godlike for WS here. 
it's he hilarious. Needs, he needs some mana item. That's that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, there you go. No mana. Man skin, man skin's dead. Last off setup is uh, Dude, barely doing any damage. WS is not even close to dying. Give him some water, he's gonna kind of swim in it, make a jacuzzi. Now, Joker might not be as lucky though. He's not as tanky. He's starting to run forward. The shackle, you <laughs> better thank your lucky stars you didn't get caught out there. Zantic would have been dead meat. Now, Tron and the gang running forward, chasing on. WS gets another kill. What is the fight? What is the plan? There is a one. Rest Farmers, you're stone gazing at absolutely nothing. There's no heroes for you to look at. They just all turn tail and walk the other way. Rest Farmers, very little options. This was how Rest Farmers took game number one, but it's been just complete stomps both ways so far. And Rest Farmers, they don't really have any tools to get them back. Even their high ground doesn't seem as scary. Zantic, Windrun gonna run out. Still not in time though, but Yoakum looking for the chase. Zantic should be as good as dead here. They'll lasso him up and kill off the Wind Ranger. I feel like I'm trying to sort of pull a little caveat for the Rest Farmers fans. It is 3-2-2, so all hail the Holy Grail. I can't wait for them to hold right? That's yeah. up, Yoko. Oh no! They're That's ruining all. the score! Oh, no, 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 not like this, Yoko! Okay! Well, the score is ruined, but so are uh, Rest Farmer's game. And, yeah, I mean, nobody on the side of talent is even remotely threatened. You still have that infest. In comes WS, he wants to clean up more kills. This is just looking like a walk in the park. You buy back on the techies, but nothing else to give, Sibe. He just gets wrecked here. And VTune and company get their revenge. After a very Dude. rough game number one, they this was way backhand. faster than their first game. Oh, this was great. This this was just a backhand. This is what the Southeast Asian boys love to see. And Talon, they stay alive here in this best of three and take us to a game number three up against Rest Farmer. So we... This is one of his uh, best heroes as of late, at least. Set up for the squad. Maybe come up here for an early rotation. Boss pack though, with the stuns and the bashers. Nice avalanche follow-up. They are layering their disables perfectly, but it's not enough to stop that blast off from coming through. Now WS, with that tree toss, they will be able to finish off Handkin. Oh yeah, no. To hold that thought, Yoakum, he's into the mix as well. Shad, trying to trade out with this slaughter, but it's never gonna work out, especially when he's in, in his own puddle. Upon in the bot side right now, Rage pops up. They're chasing down onto Handskin. Bash up under the tower with another avalanche. Perfect chain stun. These guys have this down to a T. You've TP'd it onto Pablo now. Shackle up, but it's level 6 on this Slada. He is completely fine down here. You're in his puddle and he's gonna get a double. Pablo might just have to run. They're gonna keep this chase going. No reason to back up. Ponyo now, he's tanking a little bit too much on the tower shots. But last crush, triple kill again for WS. And we saw this happen on his offlane anti-mage on a much more traditional pick. And one of his comfort heroes, he's doing it again to them, Winter. Look at the support, you know, the Shaman and Tech is doing. Now it's Yokem time, he's just, he's just running havoc right now. Oh, and they thought they got the better of him, that bad rider ban as well, but Handskin just gonna go down. He TP'd it on to Zibe, but nobody has stuns. He's gonna be taking the Twin Gate. No! And now his baby. No, his baby's in trouble. No, he just left too. No one's getting protected now. Easy chase down, WS with the bash, and that is just death after death for Shad now. Zero and four on that life stealer. High ground ward, they see this primal beast. Ponyo in a great position, and now they want to set up on the primal beast too. Toss back onto Ponyo, frostbite available, and starting to bash him up. Turn around with the pulverized though, Pablo in the area of a hex. They just need to hold this Slada in place, stop the fizz from coming out. Nice onslaught comes through, and they kill off the Slada with that infest. As Zantic's able to stay fighting, hit that level 6 on Pablo, turn around with the snakes, and now Yoakum looking to be in trouble, but V-Tune joining the fight very early on, gets himself a huge kill on the Primal Beast. It's like, Hanskin didn't really want to interrupt them and ruin the moment while they were celebrating, <laughs> but he's like, guys, uh... So I'm dead here at Zantic with the setup. X out as well, amplifying the damage. Shad is there to try and contribute. Now Chuan in some trouble. Oh, big freezing build. Oh, freezing nice build. It's huge. And the toss interrupts the pulverize. It's just perfect from Yoakum so far. Nice blast off into two. Stops them in their tracks for now. And looks like WS might be going down a second time. It's a three man crush, but he's the one who gets splattered down. So again, Rest Farmers coming out in space to try and defend their allies. Yoakum now dropping a little bit low. The heroes of Rest Farmers don't have a lot of HP to work with, but they'll finish off Hanskin. That's not really an even trade, but at least they keep their Dragonite alive. Bashing oh, down the bot side, the silence up. Uh oh. Orchid oh. reveal. But not enough damage. Now WS might be set up at Xantic. Trying to get the chase down. Finds Ponyo instead, though. No 
Okay, I mean, you don't really have a lot of damage, and here comes the Frostbite. Freezing Field, you're dead. Nice blast off to put a stop to that. You need to finish off the Primal Beast. Oh, He's gonna be able to get himself out. And yeah, the Omni's here as well. They're just fine. Chasing away Ponyo, another onslaught. Yeah, you brought the numbers, but this is more than worth it if you can kill off Chuan and keep everyone on Rest Farmers alive. Again, Talon. Still giving his best, Mike. Oh, blink up. Yokum was looking for something there. Guess it's wrong on the move, though. Get tossed back on the Primal Beast at Xanding. It's some trouble. Chain stunned up and no hope of getting any buttons off. Hanskin has submitted himself into death as well. Buy one, free save, one. Yeah. Nice. Oh no. Buy one, free two. Buy one, three, two. No, that's a, that's a horrible freebie. Okay, I thought that was the life steal. Oh my god, I got scared. This is... Uh, into I mean, the minds of the Dota players, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're giving... You know, we don't have true sight anymore. You're giving us that special. Oh, Hex out. Yoakum caught out. Nice in this room to spot him and unfortunately he pick off. down. But yeah, they're coming through. Just Where's the Omni Knight? The techies. Yeah, where is the he's Omni Knight? Dead. He's dead. He can't he's see still you. dead. Now, shared up on the high ground. Paul rides on the WS as well. Chuan, not a lot of mana to work with. WS will just go down. Good start to the fight. It's how much work can B-Tune do now? Popping the BKB on the Primal Beast. Turning around now. Chuan dropping low on the HP. And Shad turning it around. It's a double kill now. And B-Tune just can't do enough. He's trying to lay into Pablo. But now the Omni Knight's back in. And now they have the stun and the shackle. B-Tune's gonna lose that first life. And doesn't have any allies around to help him. Talon, they've let it slip away here. Shad and the gang, they find a huge fight. And triple kill for this life stealer. Paying off, right? This guy has been spamming this hero. Yep, Getting according to Mike, if you play 20 games a day on that, that hero, you get oh, you get license again. to play the hero in your office. Dude, the range, it's so much damage! Yoakum tries to come in with a stun, but they're repelled and rage. Maybe what? Two or three Things more are points. going to unfold, Mike. Things are yeah, going to be are. unfolding. Straight up on the high ground, if they can get the jump on Shad, that's huge. He only barely shows his face. And they break the smoke, they find they the angle the on the Primal Beast. Can he pop his BKB toss up into the sky? He turns around and onslaughts forward. Chuan has the BKB though, but they've already finished off Jokum and the rest of the team. Sibay's they're trying down. to kill off on the Sibe. The Omni Knight is dead. That's a huge first pick off the grab. And now Chuan being held on low ground. Somebody stop Pablo! In comes v and trying to work on the Shadow Shaman now. But they've already lost key members of their squad. Talon, they're gonna try and run WS. Can't really connect on the target. He needs to squirm away. Pablo. I mean, this spell amp on the hex is actually crazy. He, he oh, has they found Sibe. Stunts. I, I mean, okay, cool. You got our Dragonite. We make it even again. But well, Zantic showing himself Round with two. the HP. They should know that there's a life stealer in front of him, Chuan, with the soft commit, but the onslaught bait the other way. And Zantic says, You want to fight? I can find a fight. Bosses the BKB pop, in comes VTune, trying to do some damage. The primal beast, he's so tanky though. Now Yokum in some trouble. Guardian WS Angel. on the back lines. Blast off, holding the Slada in place, but Guardian Angel on it. Zantic, like you mentioned, Sibe is here, and no more kills to be found. They managed to kill off Pablo on the backside. That's good focus from the of Morphling and he turns into a life stealer now. He's running forward. There's not enough damage. Huge avalanche. The running. setup is there. Life stealer has to run. They kill off Zibe and Talon. They're doing it here. V Tune is finding them the opportunities and now Shad's in trouble. No more Guardian Angel, no more health. With the open wounds, it's doing life so much. Dead. They kill off WS. How He's is Life fighting. Stealer doing this? This is really the matchup they were looking for. The power rise as well. V Tune finds him. Finally, it's about time. Handskin, no more mana. But with that last bit that he has, pop that reactive taser. Always hunting down the Shadow Shaman, not allowing him to get Oh, high, Pablo. Speaking of the Shadow Shaman, just gets melted. This is all your fault. You're like, oh, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. Double S's. Oh. Nope, he is not gonna live, my friend. Oh, and Zantic, he gets called out too. This is the perfect fight for them if they can grab this Primal Beast and the Life Stealer hidden inside of him. And skin oh, the on the back line, broken up. Holy Jokum! Has to fly up into the sky, four staff away, but the chase on forward. B Tune already has that Scar D, trying to chase after the Primal Beast, hiding under the cover of oh, the Glimmer. He He's able to blink away, yeah, WS off the mark, but they'll have to pay with Hanskin's life. Two kills here for Talon. They need to try and contest the Roche, but Talon, they seem to want to get more there. Undecided about where they want to oh, go. Oh, here now. we go. Straight up to the high ground. Zippy dead again. And even though he jumped the back line, that is a Dragon Knight, my friend. You're going to buy back yes, on the Dragon now. But it's a 4v5 situation. Yokum will finally go down. So that's the pesky tiny out of the mix. Still trying to chase down Shad. But this is a Slada, very slippery. 
A little sprint away, Ponyo, good slows, and the Ogre Seal told them just to run away. Buyback now for the Tiny. Talon, they want to fight. They're going to lose Ponyo. Freezing Field doing quite a bit of slow and damage. But the Techies goes down again. There's a dieback for Handskin. Now WS in the mix in his own puddle fighting away. V2 needs to watch himself get hexed up. Look for the Shackle. Look for the control. It's not enough. Able to Manta style out. In comes the Tiny looking for Pablo. They need to get rid of this pesky Shadow Shaman. And V2 is going to morph into the Life Stealer and kill them off. Hope fading now for Rest Farmers as it's only a Zantic and Shad. Another Yules buying them the space. V2, he's doing way too much work into this Life Stealer. And Shad can't man fight at all. You would have loved to see an Agonyms. You would have loved to see some sort of sneaky trick. But there's nothing left to give with Sibe and Pablo out of the picture. I think this is going to be a free Roche and perhaps even a lane or two of Rack. Oh, you really don't oh. want to show yourself. Oh. I still don't see him. Oh. It's hard yeah. to believe he's behind the trees. With how he is here. Yeah, AWS, huge cross on the back line. Zibay manages to pop Zibay. the BKB, and it's quite a lot of damage onto the Slada. The Freezing Field in the middle of it all, they'll pop the Guardian Angel. Zibay is able to walk away. Now, Shad, he just needs to connect on the target. If he's able to kill off WS, that's huge. He couldn't pop the cheese. And now things are starting to fall apart for Talon here. But the Morphling? Where is he in the fight? He's nowhere to be found. Where is this Morphling? He gets the kill on the Pablo. Okay, you've chased far away. Your cores are dying now. B Tune, there's so much work for him to do. He has to try and kill off the remaining stragglers of Rest Farmers. Starts off with Handskin, good touch. Onslaught gets stopped by the Bash now. One trying to come in and help, huge avalanche. Still strength mopping up and they kill off Zibbit. Great touch and Exanting just has the Onslaught away. Shad's still in the middle of it all. Still Yo punching away. Still not dead. Yeah, Yoakam is still somehow alive. I have no idea how yeah, with the, the 4 stuff out as well. Aviana's feather running around on the trees. Dude, this Flying tiny vegan. is an acrobat in Cirque du Soleil right now, and that oh, acrobatics is gonna help him get B2 in the kill. And Xantic, he's still not able to find the tiny Yokum. He's just dancing on them with his tiny. Now you try to TP out, but nowhere to run. Stuns come through, and it's a full team wide rest farmers. It wasn't the cleanest execution from Talon. It took a while for him to warm up to the rest of the Talon lineup, but he's absolutely trucking it home for the squad right now. Xantic. Trying to defend, but Holy shit. You, you're just dead at Xantic. The Guardian Angel and the Pure Fight saves him. First life of the Morphling down, but you lose your Shadow Shaman again. Handskin goes down, WS able to get the kill. Now Yoakum, a bit too deep, tries to set up with the Yules, but it just buys enough time for the team to wipe them again. The only member surviving is that Primal Beast. Now he'll come back into the mix with a Life Stealer in 4 seconds. Only thing keeping him alive. Good props to the Sibe, but again, he pays the price for it. Now you run forward, silence up the Orchid paying off, and Shad, no game to be had. And Xantic, this is over. Talon coming back with a reverse sweep in this first series. Screw the jet lag, screw the emergency situation. We're here in EU and we're here to play. Soaring big time, 2-1 to one as a final result and what a great showing from the Southeast Asians.